Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to mod your PlayStation 3 Black Ops Zombies. Uh, with this mod, you can be able to go into God Mode, um, use custom weapons, infinite ammo, no clip, fun stuff like that. Um, be warned, it only works for your offline, so you won't be able to go online with any of that, with your mods because you, for that you'll need a jailbreak in PlayStation 3 and there is no working jailbreak for PlayStation 3 4.46 as of right now so you're just gonna have to hold tight and wait for that or if you can um, downgrade your firmware to 3.55 jailbreak it like that but you might need an E3 flasher for that which costs around forty dollars So. That's the only way so far. Um, this is just for offline. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, you want to go to your Save Data Utility, PlayStation 3. Click on that. Copy over your Call of Duty Black Ops game save and player profile. Just copy that over to your USB device. And I already have mine copied on there, so you just need to do that. Once that's already done, you can go, you're going to unplug your flash drive, and you're going to go over to your computer. So unplug it, go over to your computer. Sorry for the video quality here. I'm using a pretty cap crap camera. Okay, I'm going to exit out of this stuff. Okay. So, you need to download the programs I put in the description, which is the zombie modded codes and the Red Eye X32 Black Ops Game Save Editor. So, what you're going to want to do, open up that Red Eye X32 Game Save Editor, click on, click on it right here. It's going to open up going to look like this. So what you're going to want to do, go to file, open folder, find your USB um, from where you copied that game save. Uh, for me it's my computer. Yeah, so find that. It's going to look like this. Just open that up. I'm going to say all files decrypted and loaded successfully. Now, I already have my files in here, so you're going to see three JPAD zeros over here, your left-hand side. Yep, you're going to see three of them. SP. Okay, so now you're going to want to open up those codes that you downloaded in the... Sorry about that. Just going to... Yeah. Okay. So now that you have your codes, it says paste this into JPAD OSB and paste this into JPAD OCM. So just follow that. Um, just highlight all of this. Copy it. Go to. Go to this. That was. Okay. So copy that into your SP. See, I already have it copied here. So just delete all of this and whatever whatever's in there. Delete all of that. Well, here, let me show it for you. What I gotta do? Delete that. Press Control V. Paste that in there. Go to File. Click Save Asset. Okay, you're good there. Now go to your CM, erase everything that's in there. Like I said, I already have the mods on here, so I'm just going to show it for you guys. Copy the paste this into your JPAD OCM. So copy that. Go to Red Eye, your CM. 
just control V that in there. So now you have that, just go to file, save asset. Now that you're done, you can just press save all. It should say saved game, save successfully. Press OK. You can exit out of that. Exit out of that. Uh, take out your flash drive and let's go back over to the PlayStation. PlayStation, you're going to plug this back in here. Alright. Hope this tutorial is uh, pretty straightforward for you guys. Um, I know the quality is bad. I apologize for that. And now what you're going to want to do is go to your save data utility your USB device you're gonna see your black ops game save in here now you're gonna want to copy that over onto your PlayStation 3 and once it's all done there you um well first you want to sign out of black uh, um, sign out of PlayStation Network because I mean you can get banned if they like catch you while you're online so please be sure to sign out Although it's very unlikely that you'll get banned, just a precaution. Um, you know, just go open up Black Ops. Skip through this. You can just skip through all this. You're not going to need it. Um, just your brightness and such. Now you're going to go over to zombies. Press solo. It works on all map packs so far. I'm not sure about Dead Ops Arcade. I don't know if it's going to work on that. So I'm going to choose Kino. Start it up. Also, on your Red Eye X32, if sometimes the files, um, if it doesn't decrypt successfully, uh, don't worry about that. Just exit out, try it again. If that's still not working, try reinstalling Red Eye. Happened to me a lot before I got it all right. So, don't worry about that. Wait for it to start up. And now you are playing the modern version. As you can see in the top right corner, oh hold on, my quality is a little bit bad here. I'm gonna go up front for you guys and see what the mod and show you what the mod does. So as you can see, I am here. Uh, you could okay. So the controls are press up on this, turns on your God mode. So God mode on. Press it again. God mode off on your right d-pad press that it's gonna give you no clip so you can go through walls everything like that just like zoom through the map all that fun stuff and your um, left d-pad that's gonna give you well you can run fast there are settings of how fast you can run Yeah, like that. Switch some settings around. If you press down, you'll get some custom weapons. These dual, they shoot grenades. Pretty fun stuff. It'll drop you a Zeus cannon. Different maps have different custom weapons. Stuff like that. So, that's pretty much it. If you want to exit the game, you're going to press the PS button, press it again, and then you're going to want to quit if you want, stuff like that. And um, 
because the start button will not work. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope it works out. Um, these are not my mods. I'm just giving you the tutorial. I have Modern Warfare 2 mods that I will be posting up um, when I can. And those are my mods. So enjoy this. And please subscribe. And please add me on PlayStation Network if you want to learn about some more mods. My PlayStation Network ID is uh, Denza98. That's D-E-N-S-A-9-8. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Good luck.